Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. This is going to be one of those short videos again that just touches on one topic and that, well, maybe two actually when you think about it. We're talking about the Archwell website, the fact that they're allowed to sell your information and also that they're taking ideas from the public to try to come up with things to do for Netflix. I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true. Let's take a look. Let's go. I covered this information in a previous video, but I'm going to go back to it because it's, it's being rehashed. Meghan and Harry are being accused of taking ideas from the public through their Archwell website. So I thought, surely not. These two who are producing and they got this $100 million deal, why would they need ideas from the public? Uh, duh, that's pretty obvious. They haven't been able to come up with anything. And of course, it also came to light that these two privacy-seeking people uh -huh, uh, are also collecting information and sharing it. So they're not protecting your personal information. A journalist who's in Australia put out the privacy policy to start with of their Archwell website. And it clearly says that they're going to collect your information and they can share it for profit. So they basically sell your information. He talked about it on Twitter and then he put up a tweet with a link to the privacy policy. Here it is. He was very specific and sure enough, there was the tweet that says here they are suing photographers for invasion of privacy and they can do all of this and then they share it. And in case you can't read it, here is a closer up version of their privacy notice, which clearly says everything that this journalist found. So as I've told you guys before, don't go on their website, not even to take a peek because the second you do, they collect the stuff from your computer and put cookies on your computer so they can track you. It's not good. Now, there are people online saying that's not true, but as you can see, it's right there in black and white. It's absolutely true. Now, at the same time, it looks like the two of them have turned to the public to try to come up with some ideas for Netflix because we all know they haven't been able to come up with anything. And sure enough, on their website, there's a place where you can submit your stories and your thoughts about your compassion and action, your ideas. Here's a copy of the link. And the interesting thing is it says that if you submit your ideas, they're going to feature you on their website. But here's what it doesn't say. They're reading your ideas and they have the right to use them in their projects if they so wish. And here's the interesting part. It's written in there that that is essentially a non-negotiable contract. So any ideas that you give them, they can use and you will not get paid a penny for them. Zip. The terms and conditions on their website make it very clear that if you give them anything, you cannot sue them. You can't go back. You can't ask to be paid. Nothing. They get your information and they can pass it off as their own. I want to give you guys also an update. Um, interesting, on my last video, we talked about the fact that Meghan and Harry's supposed daughter was not in the line of succession because she has not yet been christened. And several of you pointed out to me that Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's um, child is in the line of succession and has not yet been christened. Excellent catch. You see, I, I rely on you guys for information. This is exactly it. I, I don't claim to be 100% correct. And this totally went past me that August Philip Hawk Brooksbank has not yet been christened, but he's already in the line of succession. Very interesting catch. And I, I really, I still don't have an answer. I don't know why the baby's not in the list. I also, in the last video, misspoke. The Platinum Jubilee is next year, not in this September. But I still believe that um, Harry and Meghan are going to try to get back to the UK to christen the baby. I also want to say one more thing about the award that the two of them got for only having two children, therefore being good to the planet. One of you followers pointed out, rightfully so, that... They had a lot of nerve giving these two an award for only having two children while they're living in a house with 16 bathrooms and the pool and the lush gardens and the way they're abusing the environment and the resources that are being used to keep up the house. A hypocritical award for sure. And another good point brought up by my followers. You guys are jam on. Well, it's fin update time. 
things are definitely getting better with the cats, as you're about to see. And also, Finn is starting to trust my son a lot more. Watch this. Okay, the two of them are making friends, and my son was just rubbing his belly. Go back. Rub it some more. He's waiting. He's waiting. Ah, oh, yes. Cat doesn't seem to care. Interesting. So what do you guys think about the fact that the Archibald website is collecting your private information and they're selling it to make money? What do you think about the fact that they're essentially asking the public for their ideas so that they can turn them into Netflix specials without paying the people for their ideas? Don't forget to leave your comments below. You know I love to read them. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee fund. I do love my coffee. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads. And as always, you guys, have a great day.